Why is green building important? Um, buildings are not only big business, but they're our business, right? I mean, that's what you do. You sell buildings, right? Um, however, they're, they're not just business, they are huge consumers. Consider these statistics put out by the U.S. Green Building Council, the U.S. GBC, and Architecture 2030. 76% of energy produced by coal plants. They use 72% of electricity in the country. 39% of all energy use. 38% of all carbon dioxide emissions. 40% of all raw materials use goes into buildings in the United States. 30% of waste output, which equates to about 136 million tons, that's million tons a year, and 14% of potable water consumption. They're huge consumers. Construction is the single major consumer of U.S. metal, wood, and glass. Of course, that was until a couple of years ago. This is slowed down a little bit. But in general, buildings require a, a huge uh, amount of our natural resources. Building supplies use 25% of the Earth's forests. 25% of the trees in the world go to building. Buildings use 40% of all raw materials globally, almost half of all raw, raw materials globally, or 3 billion tons, okay, so a ton is 2,000 pounds, 3 billion tons annually. So it should come as no surprise that buildings have a pretty substantial impact, not only on our economies, but on the environment as well. And, and so that's the downside. The good side is that if they have that much of an impact, they have the potential of having a huge positive impact on the environment as well if we rethink the way we do things. So green building is, we say it's better for the environment for very obvious reasons that hopefully you'll get by the end of the class. They're better for health. Um, indoor air quality is a huge issue. We'll touch on that a little bit later. Um, but uh, especially here in the Pacific Northwest, there are, we have a huge number of people, for instance, who have MS, and they're beginning to think that maybe they're linking that to indoor air quality as part of the problem. Um, they're better for consumers and hopefully you'll see that also as the um, class goes along. Um, we think that green buildings are better for business and the, the economy and job creation is definitely the direction that building is going. And in fact, according to McGraw-Hill, the green building industry could grow to more than $140 billion by 2013. We've talked to builders across the country, 2008, 2009, who said, my business, green builders, my business never even slowed down. I'm still building. And there are, there are professionals out there or, you know, who study these things who say that if you're not building green within about five years, you won't be building anymore. There will be a day when we don't use the word green. It's just the way we do things. Um, and so hopefully, um, they, they, so they become the standard for building. And ultimately, they're necessary for a sustainable future. I have a grandson. He's almost a year old. He'll be a year old on Friday. Um, so suddenly, I care a whole lot more about the future. Where is Jack going to live? What is the world going to be like when he's here um, as an older person? So um, we, we, we have to stop thinking in the here and now and start thinking ahead to future generations and the impact that we're having. What is green building? You tell me. What's green building? Just toss out some words. Low impact development. Low impact development. What else? Solar. Solar. What else? Sustainable. Sustainable. What else? Any efficient. words you've seen? What's that? Efficient. Efficient. Good. Recyclable. Recycles. Recycled things might go into green building. What else? Anything else? All really good answers. Um, but you can see that it's also a jumble of words. There's a whole bunch of words out there, some of which we're not terribly good at, at explaining the definition for. Like, what is sustainable? What does that mean? Um, so there's a lot of confusion about what green building is, a lot of questions about what makes something green. Does it have to have all these things to make it green? Does it have some of these things to make it green? What really is a green building? I would say to you, first of all, that green building is first and foremost about good quality construction. And the cost. Green building is about good quality construction. Here in the Northwest, we have some pretty heavy-duty codes. I know it gives a lot of builders a lot of grief sometimes about our codes, but we are, um, we are head and shoulders above many other parts of the country that don't even have building codes. There are places in the country that still don't even have them. 
Um, so we are already, in a lot of ways, very cutting edge in the way that we, we approach building. But building to code is building just good enough to keep you out of jail. Consider that. We're talking about really good quality building that is good for the, the consumer, it's good for the economy, it's good for the environment.